guys, this is Lala Legacy, and welcome back to another episode of Amnesia Memories. So, let's jump right back in. I'm sorry, but I'm working now. Okay, good. Nice way to get out of it. So, it's because you're working. I'm proud that my daughter is such a serious worker, at least. What? Your dad shows up now of all times! Uh, since he's your dad, then he must be the man Toma was saying was a huge cheater, <laughs> right? And you weren't going to rely on your family anyway. Why is he here now? There are only six days left until you need to answer me. I wanted to check up on you, though, to see if you've made up your mind. So, have you come up with an answer? Uh, uh, you need to answer something. Wait a minute, weren't you supposed to come up with an answer to Iki's confession within six days? We thought we finally had everything under control, but there's still more! I've told you many times already, but I only intend to pay for your studio until the end of August. It looks like you're working, but I think it's impossible to attend college while also making a living. Just give up and come live with me and your stepmother. She says she'll be happy to welcome you too. Your stepmother? Well, I guess your dad got remarried to another woman. This is the third time you've known a new mother. You should be used to it all by now. You got remarried three times? I thought you might be going through a delicate time, so I waited until now to ask, but I won't wait any longer. Does this mean your dad's been married four times already? That's crazy! I wonder how you felt. No, I'm pretty sure there's only one way you could have felt about it. You didn't like it. You disliked the idea so much that you've been working hard every day to save up money to get by later. Listen, Elizabeth, I won't let you get away with acting so selfishly much, uh, for much longer. What should you do? Did you have any plans to survive? Master. Has one of our establishment's maids been causing you any issues? Yiki! No, there's no problem. I'm her father. We're just talking about a family situation right now. I'm sure my daughter has been a handful. Ah, so you're El Elizabeth's daughter. Oh, but not daughter, father. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. The young lady has been quite helpful, both at work and in personal affairs. What? I'm Ikyo. It's nice to meet you. I've been going out with your daughter. What did you say? Oh, I see. Well, er, that's, well, fine, I guess. However, Ikyo, was it? My daughter will be returning home soon, to a place about two hours away by train. There's no way a college student like her could make a living by herself. I'm sorry, but continuing to see my daughter will be difficult. I heard from her that she didn't need to decide until the end of the month. A decision? No, it was only time for her to prepare herself for this. There are no other choices for her. Why's that? Even if she might struggle in living alone, sharing a room is always an option. Sharing a room? And who would she be sharing this room with? Or who would be sharing this room with her? Uh, that would be me, of course. Share a room? Who does that mean? Yeah, because he said he asked you to live with him before. Just so you know, if you feel prepared for, uh, for it, you're free to come over and stay with me at any time. And I don't mean just staying over, I mean living together. Yeah, because he said the last time that he asked you that he had asked you before. You! You're just working here part-time, and you're a student just like her. You're relying on your parents to get by, aren't you? You're just a student without a stable income. Do you really believe that you could take care of her on your wages? What would you do if you were injured and couldn't work? You might both end up on the street. <laughs> and you want to share a room with my 18-year-old daughter? You should stop joking around. It's true that I'm a university student, just as you said. However, I'm in my fourth year, and I have a lot of free time. I'm self-sufficient, and I already have a job lined up. 
I'm sh or I'm sure even you would recognize the same or the name of the company I'm going to work at. Shall I tell you? And of course, this place is merely one of the many options I can pursue once my studies have been completed. I'm just saying that I have choices. Or, or I'm just saying I have that choice. Perhaps you could be a little more considerate of your daughter's choice. Gugh. Coffee! What? I'll have a coffee. I understand. Please, wait just a little while. Damn, Dad. So that's what the whole choice is about. <sighs> Today sure was a rough day. You feel a lot more dizzy than usual. It's kind of like when a memory comes back, but not quite as strong. <laughs> yeah, maybe your memories will come back after talking to your dad. Oh, Elizabeth, good work today. Is something the matter? You look a little pale. Are you worried about what your father said? That is a pretty difficult decision. You've got to choose between living with a guy or moving far away. And the guy you'd live with is me. Huh. I'm sure there's a pretty high chance that I'd do something. Is that something to laugh about? Five days left. Have you still not decided... If you make up your mind, I'd be willing to protect you from this very moment. Oh, <laughs> memories upon memories. Ah. Hmm. So there is a time limit before you need to leave that apartment. Well, if you make up your mind, I'll be willing to protect you from this very moment. Huh? I'm saying you should come live at my apartment. You know, share a room. No, no way! I couldn't do that! But being realistic, living alone is just impossible with school, right? And you don't want to move over there, am I wrong? You're right, but... I've got a job lined up and I already already make a stable living. I'm, a, I'm the perfect person to live with. I guess the biggest problem is that there's a high chance that I tried to take advantage of you. Although, if you said no, I would hold back. It's up to you to decide whether you believe that or not. My determination can't be underestimated. What about you? Can you trust me? Yes, Iki, I trust you. That's right. Iki really is thinking about me and cares about me. I've seen that over the past two months and I... I... Elizabeth! Whoa there. Getting dizzy again. Are you really okay? Are you okay? Did you remember something? Well, I couldn't see anything. I didn't get dizzy either. It looks like I am being separated from you. Goodbye, Orion. Or not yet. Okay. Buddha after today, you really, really know what Iki's feelings for you are serious. Or that his feelings for you are serious. Iki is in love with you. He's determined enough to introduce himself to your father and commit to living with you. What about you? How do you feel about Iki? Are you just friends? Who lovers? Setting aside the issue of living together for now, you need to come up with an answer for him. But I might not be able to stay with you until you answer him. I want to hear your answer now. How do you really feel about Iki? Do you like him? I think I'm in love with Iki. I see, so you are. Yeah, now I'll be able to separate from you in peace. <laughs> Even I'm feeling happy now. I'm sure Iki would be delighted. You need to let him know. Oh, man. August 26th. Oh, good morning. How are you feeling today? Hey, you seem to have or be having some strong feelings. Are you okay? 
Even I can hear your heart racing and your face is all red. I'm sure Iki noticed too. What's up? Did you finally realize how charming I am? <laughs> I guess you can't help it. I mean, Iki showed so much determination yesterday. Hey, sorry, but I need to get dressed. Can you get out of the way? Sheesh, you've been going out for three months already. Why are you still making lovey-dovey eyes at each other like that? She can't help it. Up until now, she had thought she might have just been toyed with by him. We should go. First, you need to get dressed. Wait a second. Why are you running away? Why aren't you saying anything? Isn't it a little rude to stare at someone's face with your own face all red like that and not say a single thing? What's up with that girl? I thought her attitude was changing compared to before, but maybe she has something she wants to tell me. Or maybe I should be the one to ask her? Or am I just being conceited? Perhaps my eyes might be working on her now. I wonder. Maybe I should test it out. Hey, look over here. Look straight into my eyes. Don't look away. Huh? It looks like it's working. Or am I just imagining things? Look into my eyes and, s and say, don't be so conceited. Uh, dot, dot, dot. You can't say it. Why not? I'll wait until I count. Er, I'll wait until I count out from ten. If you don't say it by then, I'll kiss you. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Uh oh. Yeah, it would be a real problem if you did things like that at work. <laughs> Sheen, couldn't you have waited about five more seconds? Feel free to do it after work. Oh well, we'll continue this later. We should just get changed for... Hmm? What's wrong? Elizabeth! I remember this conversation. The first time I saw Iki's eyes up close, I was completely fascinated. Without even knowing it, but... I said, don't be conceited. Or don't be so conceited. I said it while looking straight into his eyes. Huh, it's not working. No, it's got to be working. I mean, you were, co you were looking at me completely charmed just now. I wasn't charmed. Don't be so conceited. Oh, really? You can say that while looking into my eyes. See, you can't say anything. Try saying it again. You know, don't be so conceited. Uh, see, you can't say it, right? He's the same as my dad. He plays around with women like they're toys and throws them away when he's tired of them. This man, I won't lose to this man. Uh, don't be so conceited. What? You're kidding. Why? How? How did you reject me? That's right. Back then, I had only heard rumors, and they really made me dislike Iki from the bottom of my heart. That's why I rejected him, of my own free will. It was pure defiance. It seems like you remembered something. I couldn't see it, though. Does that mean... Anyone could deny Iki's eyes if they're serious enough? I'm not the only one who's special? In that case, if there's someone else who can deny him, would Iki? Man, yeah, that's really hard. Oh man, oh man, that's making me want to cry. Because her dad is a player. And for Iki to kind of act the same way. Yeah, I can understand why she'd be so scared. Good work. Let's go home together today. I'll be waiting here after I'm done changing. Huh? What? He'll be waiting in this room? You'll be going together from here? Won't this be the first time? Ten minutes later. Whew. Anyway, let's go. I'll hold your bag and your hand. 
This means you're going to walk in front of the fan club girls while holding hands. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Ah, it's icky. Hey, could you let us pass? I'm walking my girlfriend home today, so I can't hang, ar or hang around with you. What? Wait, uh, why? Uh, why do you need to do something like that for her? She hasn't been feeling well lately. Sorry, I s or I'll see you all later. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't. We can't accept that. You don't need to go with her, Iggy. If she's not feeling well, she could just take a taxi home. You don't need to do anything, Iggy. Hey, we can't go home if you keep blocking the path. What? Are you trying to use force now? Hey, if you don't let us through right now. Uh, excuse me. I need to clean up over there, so could you get out of the way? Huh? I need to clean up the front of the cafe. I want to get it over with so I can go home. Mind moving? What, what's with that attitude? Hey, we're all valuable customers, you know. I know that you're always causing trouble with the racket of yours. Let's go. Sheen's distracting them for us. Head through that gap. Hurry. I seriously can't believe this. Do you want us to report you to your manager? We know that guy is really scary. Go right ahead. I don't mind. Oh, We really will do it. We're serious, you know. And I said, go ahead. Call him over. More importantly, it looks like Iki is gone now. But I guess that doesn't matter to you. What? No way. He is, really is gone. You, you tricked us, didn't you? I don't think you can call it deception when the people you're dealing with are this stupid. I can't believe this. Let's go look for him. Ah, Iki, why would you just leave us like this? That should be obvious because you're all so annoying. I think that are gone. Sorry for rushing you like this. I know you don't feel well. Are you all right? Ah, uh, I finally did it. They're probably all really mad. What should I do? Sorry for involving you in this. I'm sure that, I'm sure that this will have bad consequences, but I'll protect you. I'm serious. Will you still come with me? Hey, do you mind if I ask again about this morning? What was up with that? Did my eyes suddenly start working on you or something? If not, then maybe you really feel that way about me. Ah, why am I getting so nervous? How uncool. What I'm trying to say is, uh, you know. You're the only person I ever look, or I ever look the silly in front of. You always make me act in strange ways. You really are a special person to me. Do you believe me? And if your eyes worked on me? Well, it's true that your reaction to them is what interested me at first. Nobody had ever told me to stop being conceited to my face before. But that just served as an opportunity. You decided to face me. You knew the rumors and the reality about me, but you didn't run away or give up. You talked to me. Just like right now. Part of me still wants these eyes to work on you, even now. So, uh, what about you? Am I special to you? You're special to me, too. You know, to be honest, I'm trying my hardest to hold back. Hmm. Should I even say this? Right now, I'm fighting this huge urge to kiss you. It's taking everything I have to resist. It's because it's you. Only you. I've never felt this way before. I don't even know what I should do. Uh, sorry. Mind if I lose my sense of reason now? I can't wait any longer. Oh, Your lips are sweet. Did you eat something? Oh, you spilled some cream when you were cleaning up earlier. You must have licked that. Yeah, it tastes like cream. It's sweet. Mind if I have some more? Delicious. Oh. 
only five days left. This really was cutting it close. I don't know what I would have done if you rejected me. Three months ago, when you agreed to go out against that, uh, to go out against that time limit, I didn't know if I could go on after breaking up with you. If you rejected me now, I definitely end up broken for years. I really do love you. I mean it. It surprises even me. Okay, that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. Oh my god, I'm almost crying. <laughs> but anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. By subscribing, you're becoming part of a legacy. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!